So in the last lecture we saw why single phase induction motor is not self starting, right? Let us see the equivalent circuit of the induction motor, right? Now we know induction motor on the start point of the procedure is popular, just we are analyzing for single phase induction motor not design for the other problem on the start for the other induction motor switch up on the supply for the channel start at that. So the other problems for the other one, right? So here I have drawn the equivalent circuit of the induction motor. Later we will see how we are going to produce, that is how we are going to re-modify the induction motor so that that will get the initial torque, right? We will see later on. Let us see, already we will see single phase induction motor. Three phase induction motor, per phase equivalent circuit, we will see the array of single phase, there is no big difference. Again, stator, this is my rotor, this is my core. So, stator, rotor, we will see the stator, I said. When, when we are bringing the resistance or reactants from rotor to stator, they all are getting divided by turns ratio, case square, right? You uh, know, when we are three phase slip motors, right? So, this is the equivalent circuit of the single phase induction motor. Okay, fine. This is the same thing. Now, the single phase induction motor has two torque developed. One is forward torque, another one is reverse torque. Two are on the opposite law. Now, they are getting cancelled themselves, right? Uh, one small correction. Last lecture ना नाटी देखो इन द इक्वेशन ही गिरते ना लिया तो इस पावर टार बैकवर टार प्रणी इक्वेशन गिरते ना लिया अलग एक कीला ये बोले बोल दो फर्स्ट टार एक्चुअली दिस इस माय बैकवर टार राइट ओमेगा टी प्लस अल्फा जैसे ओमेगा टी इक्वल टू माइनस अल्फा that is negative as shift power. So this is omega t equal to plus alpha. That is positive, right? And I am like here, I move first forward, second and the back forward again. Put in there. That is what we call the correction we know, right? So this is my YMF developed in the forward direction. This is the YMF that are being developed in the reverse direction. Clear? Okay, fine. Let us see. So this is my equivalent circuit. If I am going to tell you, in our induction machine, there are two forces. Two forces developed by the layout. So two forces, if I am going to tell you, equivalent circuit will represent for the layout. We are differentiating the circuit line of the line and the break point, right? So with the help of potential deviation rule, right? So we are going to tell you, see, we are going to tell you, 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 something that is I into J X. If we are going to tell you, 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 that is I R into R R by S plus J times of X R. Anyway, both are connected in parallel. S R no. If we are going to tell you, 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 since these two branches are connected in parallel, if we are going to tell you, 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 so that there is no changes in our big circuit. Are you getting me? Rendi thay me same one day that drop out there. Apna ayna panna bina the circuit under randa break pane. Apni the rendi parallel circuit under randa break pane. Mere off voltage, skin off voltage rendi. Na orda da clear. Okay fine. Apna ayna thay me yedu kala na hamari re drop pane kya bina. In our single phase induction motor la rendi yamma of under double pane. One is my forward yamma of, another one is backward yamma of. Forward yamma of to correspondent slip na mukha thoniya that is forward slip. Backward M of the correspondent slip of the backward slip equal to 2 minus S times of F. That is S of. We saw the relation between backward slip and forward slip. If we are going to break the circuit, we are going to break the circuit. First circuit, this is responsible for forward slip. We are going to break the resistance of the slip or divide. This is the reason why we are going to break the three phases. So, we are going to break the forward slip. We are going to break the resistance of the forward slip. Backward, the same resistance is getting divided by the backward slip. That is all. Next step. In the forward, the stator only. Actually, in the layer, it will be responsible for two current. It will be responsible for two current. It will be responsible for two current. One is called forward current, another one is called backward current. Another one is forward winding value of current, another one is backward value of current. So this is my general torque equation, sorry, general current equation. Stator will enter rotor will enter current. So this is my rotor voltage. So we enter the rotor will enter current. If we enter the case here, we will enter the ER is equal to, that is IR is equal to ER divided by, so that is what? IR is equal to, this is total voltage divided by total impedance in magnitude. That is RR by S whole square plus XR whole square under square root. Clear? Putting out, you will get the rotor current. Okay, fine. So, rotor current will be cut to the forward back button. That is the break for now. If you have a forward button, slip will be a forward slip. If you have a back button, that is the entry current. Slip will be a backward slip. Backward slip will be a 2 minus SF. Then, if you have a rotor, you will get two different circuit. You will get the forward current and reverse current. Okay, fine. But next, 
current is your phase angle na calculate maadi next step so this is the equivalent circuit i hope you understand very simple this is my general equivalent circuit on a single phase induction motor la we are getting two different torque one is forward torque another one is backward torque adanal the circuit are randomly break pani irukum so forward torque la enna agar current this is my forward current this is my backward current adutha la the forward current la irundhu evlo phase angle la namak calculate pannrom numerator la real term matta da irukadha la idoda phase angle zero minus denominator angle denominator ku tan inverse of imaginary by real pani you will get the denominator angle so here i am putting minus why numerator angle minus denominator angle idhe mari idhala namak kadikira backward that is phase angle la again numerator is zero minus tan inverse of imaginary by real right so inga real abingiradhu r r dash divided by 2 minus sf nu varum actually idu denominator of denominator la irukum so the 2 minus sf vandu denominator of denominator la irundhu numerator ku vandrum clear so this is the phase angle that i have been getting from forward current and backward current clear next in the forward la irukku liya and the forward la develop agra power air gap la develop agra power due to forward mm of and air gap power due to backward mm of அப்போ ஃபார்வர்ட் எம் ஆஃப் நம்ம ஏற்கனவே ஃபார்முலா பார்த்தோம்ல யார் கே போறது ஃபார்முலா என்ன i2 r s தட் இஸ் ஜெனரல் ஃபார்முலா த்ரீ பேஸ் செலக்ஷன் மோட்டல்ல நாம பார்த்தோம் தட் இஸ் ரோட்டர் கரண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் மை ரோட்டர் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் டு பை ஃபார்வர்ட் ஸ்லிப் ஃபார் ஃபார்வர்ட் யார் கே போவர் பேக்வர்ட் ஸ்லிப் ஃபார் பேக்வர்ட் யார் கே போவர் கிளியர் சோ தட் இஸ் தி டிஃபரண்ட் ஃபார்முலா டு ஆப்டைன் தி யார் கே போவர் ஃபார் ஃபார்வர்ட் அண்ட் பேக்வர்ட் எனக்கு என்ன தேவை அப்படினா ஜெனரலா டோட்டலா இந்த சிங்கிள் பேஸ் செலக்ஷன் மோட்டல்ல யார் கே போவர் எவ்வளவு பவர் டெவலப் ஆகுது அதுக்கு நான் என்ன பண்றேனா ஃபர்ஸ்ட் நான் டார்க் எடுத்துக்கிறேன் see we all know both the torques are opposing each other so resultant torque abingiradhu tf minus tv rendu neenga separate pannom appo tf abingiradhu general na vedu edu torque enna formula t is equal to p by omega thana appo na enna pannirukken appadina p by omega appdi potrukken inga p abingiradhu pab minus that is tv minus ta tf abingiradhu forward torque tv abingiradhu backward torque appo idoda correspondence forward power minus backward power divided by simple speed that is general speed of the rotating magnetic field நெக்ஸ்ட் இப்போ இதில இருந்து நான் என்ன பண்ணறேன்னா டோட்டல் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் பவர் வந்து கொண்டு வரேன் அது அந்த ஏர் கேப்ல இருக்க பவர் வந்து நம்ம we can calculate it into it with the help of rotor speed that is rotational speed right omega r into torque இப்படி நம்ம கொண்டு வரலாம் انا omega r க்கு நம்ம என்ன ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் தெரியும் omega s into 1 minus s னு எழுதலாம் இந்த டார்க்கோட ஈக்குவேஷன் this is my torque இத அப்படியே நீங்க சப்ஸ்டிட் பண்ணுங்க omega s omega s getting cancelled அப்ப ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ்ல டோட்டலா ஏர் கேப்ல டெவலப் ஆகுற பவர் நம்ம என்ன சொல்லலாம் அப்படினா 1 minus s times of ஏர் கேப் பவர் டெவலப்ட் இன் தி ஃபார்வர்ட் எம் ஆஃப் ஏர் கேப் பவர் டெவலப்ட் பை தி ரிவர்ஸ் எம் ஆஃப் ரைட் சோ ரெண்டு தி செப்பரேட் பண்ணிட்டு அது நீங்க 1 minus ஸ்லிப்பால வந்து மல்டிப்ளை பண்ணீங்க அப்படினா you will get the total power clear i hope you all understand so idu vandha nam enna panikalam we can obtain the total power developed by the induction motor clear in the slip only the forward slip don't get confused so this is forward slip only right adha normal slip adha vandha substitute panninga appadina total power transform so this is all about equivalent circuit of the induction motor there is no big task very simple therama na ottai kai explain pandren single phase rendu mm of forward backward forward oda current backward oda current forward oda power backward oda power forward oda phase angle backward oda phase angle resultant torque resultant power that's all this is all about equivalent circuit right so in the next lecture we will see the modifications that we are going to do in our single phase induction motor edukaga nam modification pannanum inum nam induction motor remodify pannala ye ena induction motor self starting kadaiyadhu ya adu eppadi pannadhu abingiradhu next lecture la paakalam illa vera edhaavathu doubts irundha appadina you can ask in the comment section so thanks for watching our videos thank you all